Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Stardew Valley today and our new Four Well Farm. Now in the first episode we set ourselves up to be able to buy the fiberglass fishing pole today so we'll be heading down to the beach shortly to do that. Um, sunny tomorrow and our fortune. Oh no! The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Uh, that is unfortunate because we are fishing. Our goal for today is to reach 11. Yeah, 11. To reach uh, level 4 fishing. So, uh, yeah. And luck impacts the the chances for treasure chests. Uh, the treasure chest multiplier is, uh, is affected by luck. So, yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, but it is what it is, and I think we'll be fine. Uh, now is probably a good time to mention that I am not repairing the bridge to the tide pool this week. Uh, so, yeah, I just prefer to spend the extra time fishing. The money from the fish is usually better than the forage. And the potential drops from the treasure chests are especially valuable this early in the game. Like just your pedestrian drops, like, you know, like uh, ore and seeds and rice shoots. But then there's the potential for like really good treasure too. Uh, which is fun and exciting. I mean, you'll do well at Stardew Valley uh, regardless, but how nice would it be to get like a, a day three ancient seed or I don't know a dinosaur egg could be fun with the new mayo it's worth a lot of money so yeah we are we are spending all of our spare time uh, fishing now we are collecting a hundred wood uh, before we leave because because why because we need it to um, to craft a mining chest and a scarecrow. So our goals for today are 100 wood and level four fishing. If we can do those things, uh, it'll be it'll be an okay day. I'm not gonna say a good day because I don't wanna chop down this oak tree, but I do want the seed. Um, I am, yeah. Do you see these tree right over here? This uh, maple tree, this pine tree, and this oak tree. We're not using, we're not chopping those down. Um, those are the first three tre trees that we'll tap uh, when we get when we get there. So uh, yeah, we're reserving those. Oh, do you see that? Uh, we had a crow. Um, you can avoid crows altogether. By the way. Um, uh, and the, the way you do that is by not planting more than 15 crops. At 16, your 16th crop is when the chance for a crow appears. And for every 16 uh, crops that you plant after that, uh, you'll have a chance for another crow. I'm thinking that I want a chest, another chest on the farm too. Um, so we might be doing a, a like being a little bit extra here. I think we have some wood in the um, in the chest. Forty nine. Let's make this fifty. There we go. And oh, but a back to the oh, back to the crops. You can avoid that entirely by just. Um, Uh, limiting yourself to 15 crops. Now, you need 13 parsnips in order to reach level one farming, which you want in order to be able to craft a scarecrow. So you, you would plant 13 parsnips, and then you would plant your bean starter and a cauliflower. And then on the sixth, you could put a potato in the ground and still have it harvested in time for your spring crop bundle. And if you did that, you would avoid uh, the chance for crows altogether. Nice, we needed that. Now, 
I like to use mixed seeds in order for some like free crops to save us some money. So we have a little bit of money to uh, buy bait and whatnot when we get our fishing pole here. And I'm not, I am not going to, you know, like a pickaxe, a cauli an extra cauliflower seed, or if we get a pota free potato, I'm not gonna dug it up. So I don't even bother with that. The day that, oh, nice bonanza. The day that I lose a uh, needed crop to a crow might be the day that I, <laughs> that I change my strategy. Uh, but I'm okay with the possibility of, uh, of a crow. Now I like the, um, the new four well farm. I like having like the little bonuses, like like the little quarry that we just um, went to and you know the little foraging side of the map I think that is nice but as for the map itself yeah I'm not a, I'm not I uh I think where Honeydale Farm like took shape organically I think a lot of these early the early uh changes that we're making to this map I think we're gonna have to tear it all up and like kind of almost start over to get something nice. I am not picturing how this farm is gonna look at all. So we'll see, that should be interesting. Now, here we are at Willie's. We're picking up our bamboo pole, or not a bamboo pole, our fiberglass fishing rod, and we're buying bait. And if you were good at fishing, uh, you would probably be heading to the river to catch uh, the very val valuable catfish that only come out during the rain. I cannot reliably catch uh, catfish at even like say level six, let alone level two. So we are not doing that. We are heading up to the lake. Uh, and if you are really good at fishing, well first this isn't the guide for you. <laughs> Um, but there's a new strategy that uh, some people are able to do where they are getting level two fishing and the 1800 gold needed um, for the fiberglass pole on day two. So they're coming over here using the training rod uh, to skill up and then somehow managing to get the gold that they need. And uh, yeah, so that might be something you wanna look into. It might be a fun challenge. Now this is a totally a bonus goal. A bonus goal here. We uh, we can complete the ocean fishing bundle for the community chest in summer if we catch a sardine in spring. So uh, since we're here at the ocean and. Have some time, we, uh, you know, just start, decided to uh, fish up a sardine and that worked out perfectly. Now we wanna get up to the, to the mountain lake. There's a new fish, the sardine, uh, the flounder that came with 1.4 makes ocean fishing um, a little bit more valuable because those flounders are worth a hundred and, I wanna say 25 gold, I think. Uh, but we can reliably catch the the lake fish and I have a better chance of getting perfects at the lake so yeah we're gonna uh, stick with what we know all that blather is to say that um, this is my fishing start <laughs> this doesn't have to be your fishing start uh, you can adjust adjust accordingly. If you were terrible at fishing, get the training rod and come up here. If you're good at fishing, uh, maybe try get the training rod and try for a, a day two fishing pole. I don't know. And, uh, and some catfish. We're going to go ahead and uh, power up. And you can press your, um, when you're eating a stack of low energy food like this, you can go ahead and just spam your action key um, over and over. That way you don't lose any time while you're, you know, eating a huge stack of food. And that's X if you're using the standard key bindings. 
Okay, that's good enough. Let's uh, put our snack of food away. And I am assuming that I will be uh, speeding this up. So I will uh, talk to you shortly. Now, I have to say, we've been getting a lot of treasure chests, and this is turning into a good treasure chest day, which I am really surprised by that. Okay, it is getting late, and I feel like we've had a very lucky, unlucky day in terms of treasure chests. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, but we are going to spend uh, every bit of time up here that we can. Now we could pretty comfortably uh, uh, pass out up here. Uh, because we have no money to lose, but that is not something we're uh, aiming for. We would like to, uh, you know, sleep in our bed tonight instead of in, you know, a mud puddle. Uh, but we also don't want to, you know, lose out on some fish. But this is going to be the last one, and hopefully we'll still have time to get home. We'll finish it up on a perfect... And yeah, let's take everything that we think might be good to bring back to the farm with us. Um, and I'm gonna go with, no, we'll probably catch those. And we're off. Will we make it? We will make it. Uh, one o'clock? Plenty of time, I think. Uh, so much time that I'm even going to take a second to see if we can't pick up these forageables. 120? That diamond was pretty lucky. That's a nice, what is it, like 750 gold? Which uh, feels pretty, pretty nice. And we have lots of artifacts where, um, this is for later, but we'll want, in a couple days, we'll want uh, to have five artifacts to turn into Gunther. Uh, and we're well on our way for that. So yeah, that looks good to me. Whoop. Making use of our new chest already. And let's see what, a shell, these, this, one, 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 one. Oh, now I'm just tempting fate here where it's 150. Let's stop this. <laughs> For those who've never watched one of my playthroughs before, that second chest that we put that's closest to the bin, that is for things that are uh, going to town, uh, and level four fishing, yay! So we re we 
reached our goal. And like I said, I was pretty um I was pretty happy with that uh haul considering the look. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. And the fortune teller? Oh no, the spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Um but you know, we had a good luck day yesterday almost. So, uh, you know, we're just going to roll with the punches. And here is Willie letting us know he has more of supply. And this is a letter from Robin. Okay, that's fine. Now, today's goal is level 5 fishing. And should we just fill in those spots that those crows, that those crows, that crow ate? And this one down here, that one spot down there, I never put in a seed. I should have did it yesterday when it was raining. I mean, because we're already at, there's already the potential for crows, so, you know. Might as well fill in our farm plots. Is it we are we are heading right up to the lake and doing nothing but fishing we still we have the hundred wood that we need yeah uh, if you were if you wanted to repair the tide pool I mean you could have uh, taken some extra time uh, yesterday and today and tomorrow the forage resets on Saturday so as long as you get the breach repaired uh, by Saturday you won't miss out on any of that forage uh, but like I said, I usually just, I usually, I feel like I make more money uh, just spending that time instead of chopping wood, fishing. And and once um, later in the week, I mean, we'll have more energy and Uh, perhaps a better axe. Oh, nice. We're looking for five ad artifacts before too long, so uh, every little bit helps there. Uh, this fish haul, I think we might be a little light in the money department. So I'm hoping that, whoops, I'm hoping that we can catch a nice, a lot of, a nice quantity and quality of fish today so we can bring in the money. Uh, but yeah, another full day fishing. I will uh, talk to you shortly. Nice, a jade ring increases critical strike by 10%. I'll take it. We just got the new achievement, Mother Catch, so we should be hearing from the hat mill soon. Nice, some gold and a ruby. Easy. 
is getting very late, but I am uh, pressing my luck and we're trying for one more fish. If we uh, get a bite soon, I think we should be fine. And yeah, that was a waste of time. Let's uh, collect our loot and head on back to the farm and see how we did. Now our goal for today, level five fishing, which I'm pretty positive that we got. And we want to bring our catch home with us. So we have those fish, and what else do you think that we need to take back with us? Um, do we need to bring our, start bringing our tools back with us? I think we do. But... Yeah, that's gonna be good. Let's bring this back with us. Home sweet home. Now, on a night, previously in a night where we've reached level five fishing, um, I would have tossed my catch into the bin, um, received our bonus level up, and then we would have that bonus apply to our catch. But the last time I played, that did not happen. I went to the sleep for the night. We received our level up. And the fish that I sold did not get the 25% bonus attached to it. Uh, so we are not going to uh, try that again. I've only had that happen once, um, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not sure if it's something that changed in 1.4 or if maybe I messed something up. But again, not gonna risk it. But there you go, that is the end of our uh, two fun-filled days of fishing. We reached our goal, level five fishing. We have uh, a little bit of nice loot. I don't know that we have as much money as I was hoping for, um, but I think we did well enough. We'll find out tomorrow how much we made, uh, but that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and will leave a like. Your likes and comments are always appreciated and they matter. The content you like is scheduled more frequently. Also, consider subscribing if you're new. I'd love that too. Bye-bye!